Feel this out and bring it back. See the pen? It comes back too. No sticky fingers. Up. Looks like it's going to be another sunny day. I beg you, let me have my blood now. Did you complete your form? I can feel the, the chill of the sun rising. Please give me my blood. Juan, we've got another crazy one down here. Listen, lady. This is a blood donor clinic. We don't give blood. We take it. My bride walks the earth again. <laughs> feel stronger. You gave us quite a scare. Did I? You slept for over 13 hours. Where am I? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my manners. Uh, I'm Dr. David R. Zuckerman, and this is Dr. Jose Guerra. You're in City Hospital after collapsing from anemic shock. I was the attending physician when you arrived. Your hematocrit was amazingly low, nine. Incredible. So I started a transfusion, and you received four pints of blood. How do you feel? I feel fine. You certainly look fine. Blood becomes you. Thank you. Cough. <coughs> Cough. Do you have anything in your medical history that would explain your present condition? Okay. I've needed blood before. Do you know why you have this need for blood? No, not really. It's, it's always been a mystery. Sure. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take your time. I'll finish this up. I'll see you in the lab. You American? I'm on loan from the Disease Control Center. I'm uh, helping the Ministry of Health uh, test the Mexican National Blood Bank. You mean there's a national bank for blood? In a manner of speaking, yes. Do many people um, need to make withdrawals like me? Like you? No, you seem to be unique. Then you know? Very little. Dr. Guerra asked me to take a look at your blood. You seem to have some kind of slow virus. It's a virus that I'm not familiar with. 
we're a little concerned. I'm going to ask you an extremely long list of exceedingly tedious questions, ranging from did you have measles as a child to what tropical country you visited last. And then? And then I'll let you go. Oh. But you have to make me a promise. I promise you come back. For tests. Yes, I, I promise, Doctor. How's it going? Solve the mysteries of Globin? This is the strangest blood I've ever seen. The virus in here is extraordinary. It's a little like Kuru. Kuru? Kuru. It's this virus among some tribes in New Guinea. It's spread by eating uncooked human brains in some bizarre religious ritual. Human brains? Yeah, uncooked. But it's not cool, it just looks like it. Where have you been? Mm, the morgue. A policeman came in with all his blood sucked out of him. And they wanted a medical opinion. So, what's it telling? That all his blood had been sucked out of him. They were right. You know, this blood is beautiful. Really beautiful. The way it swirls and dances, its color and movement, its shape and form, the way it shifts and moves. It's like some kind of intricate and delicate ballet. David, you're losing it. Yeah, I know. Are you quite certain you wish to sell these jewels? Yes. Money's not a problem. Good. You live alone? Uh-huh. Good. What's through here? Ah, I need my own room and bath with tub. Clean uniforms twice a week. Yes, but I think I should warn you, I have certain unusual habits. Oh, yeah, like what? Uh, I'm a late riser, very late. No problem, I like to sleep in myself. And when I'm sleeping, I must never be disturbed or I can't answer for the consequences. <laughs> you remind me of my dead husband. <laughs> and I'm on a liquid diet. No problem. Your CBC blood count is still kind of mixed. The white blood count is at 5,000 and the platelets at 5.0, which are both fine. But your hematocrit is still very low. Will I live? I think so. We'll just keep pumping blood into you until we figure out what the problem is. What if the problem is beyond your scope? Beyond the scope of David R. Zuckerman, hematologist extraordinaire. Madam, surely you're just. No, I have the utmost confidence in you, Doctor. Besides, it's not just your medical condition that concerns me. It's all these wild and mysterious coincidences that seem to surround you. 